What's good, my G's? Your boy Snow, ignorant gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for gamers. Welcome to the channel. If you come in here because of the headline, appreciate you. Subscribe now. You'll hear message like this again. Seven, ten videos. And if you're not feeling us, you can always unsubscribe. It's free. Why not? To everybody that's been here, what's up? What's good? So, anyway, Drive Club. Yeah. Evolution Studios got the axe, but Drive Club will live on. Um, I want to say gaming peace to Evolution Studios and all the staff. Uh, best wishes to all of them. You don't want to hear about anyone losing their jobs. That's a very tough thing. And now that I've finally gone through that, I know exactly how tough that is. So, you know, very sad day for the Evolution team. Uh, hopefully, these guys are able to bounce back and be doing what they love but enjoy your hard work of your labor and take the time to chill out but you know don't get too rusty maybe get reattuned maybe do some hobbies some passion things and then get back to the real hobby the real passion which is making video games because if you are doing that that's what you do i want to say something about drive club Matter of fact, I want to talk about the MotorStorm series. I want to talk about the WRC series, which all belongs to Evolution Studios. And I also wanted to thank those guys for those. Although two of the three WRC series did not come out in the United States. And uh, those were pretty much the last few games that I were playing before I quit racing games. So the MotorStorm series, I didn't really get a chance to get into. Although at the end of the PlayStation 3, I did pick up, uh, what is it, MotorStorm Apocalypse. And for the short amount of time that I had with it, it was fucking fun, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what these guys brought to the table was fun games. WRC game that they brought out was fun back when I was into those kind of games. Now I can't play none of those games. I could barely play Drive Club, but I do enjoy playing F Drive Club. And it's such a shame that a game like this, which is, again, just a lot of fun for me to play, even... At the most frustrating launch, or the pushback, then the launch, you know, when I was actually the rubber, <laughs> when the rubber met the road, I was having a lot of fun. Again, I was telling people about, you know, what I got from Forza, what I got from Drive Club, where you can appreciate both. And I don't think Evolution Studios was that dumb enough to put Forza Killer in their ad. I think that was marketing by the higher ups, which was the publishing company. But... You know, what I got from Forza was, man, it's so fun to drive. What I got from Drive Club was, yo, I want to race. I want to come in first. I want to be better at coming at first. You get what I'm saying? So, two different things. Plus, what, what made Drive Club fun for me was, I didn't have to worry about this dude being a better tuner than me. And perhaps a better driver. All I had to worry about was being out drove. And really sad to say, excluding Forza Horizon 2, but from the Forza Motorsport series as opposed to Drive Club, I got better racing on online racing versus other humans in Drive Club than I do in every class except the D class in Forza 6 and Forza 5. So, you know, that, that just goes for me. Um, the final product of the game to date is a very very good product however i know a lot of people and um you know and miss k this isn't for you this is this has been conversations that's been happening before you made your video before you got your copy of it i've been having this debate back and forth with people um you know the group you was part of the group with people like tribe club has been a complete game for damn near a year um you know i've been following the game closely the facebook updates you know, I think when the game became, I think when the game got its private lobbies is when the community split. And I think that's what broke the game, in my opinion. Um, but everything else has just been so fine. And I mentioned in one of my AMAs when I was talking about, you know, when do we pay so much for, for extra content? And I was telling people two games that made the best sense, this being one of them. Um, I, th I think I named three, but this being one of them, I mean... Evolution Studios did a great job of supporting 
their community with content not only yes the content yes the game got pushed back but the content as they outlined to us both free and paid both tracks and cars and liveries was on point everything was on target now by the end of the the season pass which was free and paid everything they delivered they delivered everything everything on time and the content was well paid for I think this was a $25 season pass like I've never felt raw up here what I love is they continue to support the game with more content at first it was a lot of free content and improvements to the game based on improvement of feedback from consumers and customers and fans and then they also added in stuff that wasn't scoped into the game way after the life. I mean, there's a hardcore mode now. I mean, there's also a mode where people who were complaining about how hard it was, there's an easy mode now. You know, so, I mean, it's just amazing what these guys were doing. And, it, you know, I don't want this to, to sound like them being let go was a result of what they couldn't do. These guys did an amazing thing. We will never know the truth behind why Drive Club was pushed back and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But for what they did and what they were able to bring in Drive Club and for the life of their company, you gotta give these guys a round of applause. You don't wanna see anyone lose their jobs. And this also includes the dudes I believe is Lionhead that did the Fable games. You know, the Fable 1, Fable 2, and, and everything that they was doing with Fable, although they're really known for Fable. They did bring an amazing experience to the table. Don't take away anything from these guys. These guys and gals, rather. They did a tremendous job with what they did. And, you know, for whatever reasons, they're no longer able to make video games as the group that they're known. So, you know, shout out to Evolution Studios. Shout out to everyone who's playing Drive Club. Whether old or new or was old and now I knew again. Hope you guys are enjoying everything. Hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel. And um, your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers, and I'm out. Peace.